Yo, what's going on YouTube, it's Simon Steph, and you guys, Ollie London, the Melting Wax Doll, is back, and he recently released a music video for his new song called Plastic is Fantastic. In his last song, he copied both Gangnam Style and Bad Boys, and it looks like he's in a continuous streak of copying popular music by stealing from the song Barbie Girl. But to be fair, although he steals from other people, he also steals plastic from the ocean and puts it on his face. So Ollie London, thank you for your service for trying to put an end to global warming. Anyway, so for today's video, we're gonna be reacting to his new song and you already know we're gonna be roasting and exposing it but just before we get into this be sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe if you haven't already or else Ollie London will be performing his music at your future funeral Okay, hold up. What is olive oil wearing? I didn't even know 6 ix 9 tracksuits were a thing, but apparently they are. I mean, it makes sense because 6 ix 9 loves girls who are made of plastic. And all the way London, well, he has enough plastic on his face that even processed cheese would be jealous of him. And then there's that candy swirl outfit. That's the type of outfit that maybe a five-year-old would buy at one of those candy stores at Times Square, but not a 31-year-old man. But hey, if he wants to wear an outfit of sweet candy to compensate for his sour music, then by all means, go ahead. crazy you can touch me everywhere um yeah thanks for the offer but i'd rather not touch you everywhere and also are those the pennywise balloons from the movie it to be honest i feel like if pennywise were to meet ollie london he wouldn't be coming back on the 27th year also i see ollie london is back with the plagiarism in his song career boo he stole the beat from gundam style but in this one, he stole the music video set from Blackpink's Ice Cream. Aside from being extremely cringy and disrespectful to other cultures, Ollie London has no talent, so he needs to make up for it by stealing from other people. You can kiss me if you dare. Alright, so English is... Okay, well, technically it's my second language, but regardless, I have no idea what Ollie London is saying. The instrumental is just way too loud and overpowers his voice, which is just filled with so much autotune that he'd be sounding like a dollar store robot. And don't even get me started on the kissing line here. You can kiss me if you dare. Why do I have a scary feeling that that line is directed towards Jimin? You know how some people have smoking or alcohol addictions? Well, no, Ollie London, he has a Jimin addiction. Why does Ollie London look like he's high in every single video? Just look at him. He's got to be on some next level party candies if you know what I mean. Also, why the pool noodles? You know what though? I'm not going to lie. It does kind of look fun standing in those. Now regarding the actual chorus itself, I mean, I like the concept of it. It's about being capable of doing anything in the world, which is actually a really great message for all the voyage to be sharing to people. But promoting plastic surgery and a fake appearance is just not it. Anyone can do almost anything in the world. We don't need to be looking like Ollie London or the Kardashians to do it. Why do I have a scary feeling that Olive Oil is the type of man that still plays in the McDonald's play place? Have you ever seen this video of the guy knocking over all the kids in the play place? I feel like this is an accurate representation of Ollie London when anyone gets in the way between him and Jimin. Okay, hold on. Is that even a real car? Why do I have a feeling that it's just a prop? To be honest, I wouldn't be surprised because Ollie London spends the majority of his money on plastic surgery and cardboard cutouts of Jimin. Oh yeah, and how could I forget all of that money that he puts into his auto-tune? Oh my God, he literally looks possessed in the shot here. Do y'all remember that Momo challenge I went down a few years ago? Well, Ollie London is scarier than that. Like I said before, Ollie London should drop the music and drop all this nonsense with a K-pop obsession and move into acting. Like I could genuinely see this guy in some horror comedy movie. Just imagine walking down an alleyway and this guy approaches you. I'd be terrified. Like I'd be scared that he's gonna shoot me with some lip injections.
Why is he sitting like that? What does he think he's on the set for? A Playboy magazine? Also, you know what I just realized? Those pool noodles make it look like he's standing inside of 6ix9ine's hair. Actually, it all makes sense now. The 6ix9ine tracksuit, the sweet tarts and candy swirl outfit, the rainbow on the wall, and the pool noodles. 6ix9ine might be Ollie London's new obsession. Yeah, uh, Jamin, uh, I think you might be in the clear. Oh god, I think he's about to attempt to speak Korean. I like how he did an eye roll there, making it look like he's an expert at the language. Alright, so I don't speak Korean, but I know for a fact that that was just a lousy job at it. For real, when Ollie London tries to speak Korean, he'd be sounding more like a Sims character. So all my Korean speakers watching the video right now, can you please leave a comment down below and let me know if Ollie London's Korean has improved like even like a little bit? Because for someone who claims to be the king of Korea and the king of K-pop music, his Korean be sounding like a baby's first attempt at saying Goo Goo Gaga. I still can't get over the fact how a few months ago he made a TikTok trying to correct an actual Korean speaking Korean. Sarang hey. Okay, your Korean is really good, but it's actually Salang Hey. Salang Hey, okay? So repeat after me. Salang Hey. Good job. Ciao, yo. You know what I'm really curious about is that if it wasn't for this whole social media thing, what would Ollie London be doing? Not to insult the job or anything, but I feel like he would be one of those people, you know, like you see in Times Square, like those cities where people dress up in the costumes of like Mickey Mouse or the more likely possibility, a clown. I mean, he already acts like one, and he already looks like one, so he'd easily be getting the job there. But I'm curious, what other jobs would Ollie be good at? Leave a comment, let me know. All right, so I was doing some digging, and I actually found a cover version of this song, and I'm not gonna lie, it's actually kind of fire. Ollie London's Plastic is Fantastic is equivalent to this emoji. But I found a cover to his song, and for once in this world, a cover version of a song is actually better than the original. My god, like, did you guys hear that high note? Spectacular. I'm not gonna lie, this guy earned my like. He was entertaining. He hit the high note. He has a decent voice. Seems like a really chill guy, nice guy, so. You know, I gave that guy a like. Anyways though, I've had enough reacting to this song. My honest thoughts about this song, I mean, it's, it's all with London. What more is there to say? The auto-tune is just no. The lyrics are also very weird and it's, it's hard to understand him. But I'm really curious now though, is 6 9 Ollie London's new obsession? If it is, I mean Jimin, he probably feels so relieved if he even knows who Ollie London is. Anyway guys though, I really hope you enjoyed my video. If you did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. But anyway guys, it's officially gonna do it. So anyways, until next time, it's been Ivan Steph. Peace.